Costa, what kind of garden beds are there? And there's so many different types of garden beds. You can grow something on the ground and then you can grow stuff in containers, like in pots. And then you can grow vegetables and plants in raised garden beds that sit above the ground. And that makes them a little bit easier because when they're raised like this, you can actually reach and you don't have to bend down because when it's on the ground like that, you know, people are like, oh, my back is sore. And particularly for older people, raised garden beds are good. They're also good if, if you've got hard ground or if you're under a tree and you know that those tree roots are gonna suck up everything you put on the ground. So you make a raised garden bed and then that's fixed. It's like a big pot, you know? And then of course there's these ones. And these ones are really special. Here's a question for you. Do you know what a wick is? It's a flammable bit in a candle. Yeah, that's right. Now, what a wick does in an oil candle, it sits in the oil and it draws the oil up to then become a flame. Now, in a wicking garden bed, what we've got here is underneath, it's like a pond, right? And it has a fabric layer so that the soil sits on the top of the water, right? There's gravel in the water so that it's solid. And then the water can wick like the oil in a candle. So you've got the water coming up and what are the roots doing? Going down. That's right. And where do they meet? In the middle. <laughs> exactly. That's right. But here's a question. What's the, what's the most valuable thing a garden needs to grow? What can't plants grow without? Water. Uh, okay. And what does the sun do to water? It evaporates it. Exactly. So what do you think is the advantage of a wicking bed? Because where's the water? The sun can't reach that water because it's under the ground. So that's why people make wicking beds, because they say, okay, I can put the water there, keep the water safe. The plants get what they need when they need it. So the roots go down, the water comes up. It's kind of like a nice dance. It's like, or, and then you meet in the middle. The party's going on in the middle, under the soil, in the soil. That's, that's what it's about. Is this the only kind of garden bed there is? That's a really good question. No, there's another type of garden bed that I haven't explained. It's called a no-dig garden. Do you want to go and have a look? Yeah. All right, come with me. This way. What do you think a no-dig, hearing that name, what do you think a no-dig garden bed is? You're not supposed to dig in it. <laughs> That's it. That's exactly it. Because a lot of people think when they have to start a garden bed, they're gonna to have to come and dig the soil over and dig out all the grass and dig out the weeds and do all this back-breaking work. But we just said, no dig. So what that means is you actually leave the ground how it is and you build above with layers. Do you know this is also called an Italian dish? What's an Italian dish that you get in a tray and you get a piece of it and it's got layers? Like lasagna. Exactly. This is called a lasagna garden bed because you put things down in layers. 